A fast growing fire near Glenwood Springs shutting down an entire section of I-70 right now. Just incredible videos and images coming from firefighters and people near what's being now called the Grizzly Creek Fire. It's burned about 50 acres so far and you can see just how much smoke is in the area and how fast those flames are spreading. So this is burning near the Hanging Lake exit, which is about five miles outside of Glenwood Springs and I-70 is shut down from Glenwood Springs to the Dotsera exit. That's a 17 mile stretch and CDOT expects that closure to continue into the night. And those stuck trying to go west on I-70 should not detour through Cottonwood Pass, instead use Highway 24. And as of right now, there are no evacuation orders in place, but Glenwood police say people living nearby need to be prepared to leave at a moment's notice. And we have crews headed to the scene right now. They should be arriving in that area shortly. We will be having live reports from them as soon as they get there. So. As of right now, no evacuation orders in place. Uh, as we said, Glenwood Springs uh, police say get ready to go. This thing is moving fast. It is spreading so, so very quickly uh, right now. Now, there are evacuation orders uh, in place for the Pine Gulch wildfire. This is a different one near Grand Junction. People living near Garfield County Road 204 were told to leave their homes last night. Those orders are expanding. This is to the north and east. That fire has grown to more than 23,000 acres and is only 7% contained right now. And this string of hot and dry weather that we've been seeing is no help for these new fires and the crews fighting them. That's right. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson has hands full from the Remote Weather Center tonight. Any relief in sight, Mike? I wish I had better news, but it's the heat, it's the dryness, and uh, there's no monsoon coming our way. Take a look at the current drought conditions across Colorado, and uh, it is bad now, folks. It's been getting worse all summer long, but weather conditions are continuing to just not bring us any relief. Temperatures are slightly cooler over eastern Colorado today, but still in the upper 90s out west toward Grand Junction, and there's very little way of precipitation around here. A couple of spotty storms, so the fire danger stays high out west. And this is the new 10 day forecast, warmer than average conditions, drier than average conditions all across our state. So the headlines, more hot days, mid upper 90s on the plains, 80s in the mountains and only a few gusty storms bringing more trouble than they're worth because they bring wind and lightning and that fire danger is going to continue to increase. We caught a bit of a break here in Denver today from that heat, but the 90s are coming back. I'll have your seven day in just a few minutes.